tip for tonight, right? Wrath of the Asphalt Baby? That <laughs> DVD's gonna be DVDiculous. 95 minutes of cheesy special effects, bad dialogue, and horrible acting. Awesome time. <laughs> Speaking of awesome times, get ready for some e-fun with Principal Ponzi. Just the little payback for giving me detention yesterday. <laughs> Must see. Oh, precious! These adorable little cubs are only a few weeks old. But look closely, and you might just see one wave at you. Closer, closer, closer. Monster! <laughs> 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 Rule book? Oh, this is good. Oh, yes, yes, this could work. If you think this is the end of it, Mr. Wright, you're wrong. Beverly Beverly High School is dedicated to turning bright, upstanding young people into the leaders of tomorrow. And what we mean by that is no weirdos allowed. If you're a weirdo, you will be expelled. Harsh. Good thing I'm not a weirdo. Huh. Oh, no? How about the time I caught you arguing with your dessert in the cafeteria? Yeah, yeah. Say it. All right, you're the greatest singer of all time. And then, there was the drinking fountain incident. Hey, not funny! Cut it out! There's a word that springs to mind. Weirdo! Oh. We didn't weep. Wait! I can prove that I'm not weird. Follow me around for as long as you want. Come to my house, whatever. If you see anything freaky, kick me out. If not, I stay. Hmm, your house, you say? If I recall, your mother made one heck of a lasagna al forno for the last PTA meeting. She'll make it tonight. Come for dinner. Well, if you insist. Great, uh, you'll see. Or you won't see. <laughs> because there's nothing to see. <laughs> Spencer Wright is going down. There's nothing weird. <laughs> Did you know that one of the special features on this DVD is the parking attendant's commentary? <laughs> Tonight's gonna be epic. Forget it. Change of plans. What? Why? Ponzi's coming for dinner. He's trying to prove I'm a weirdo so he can kick me out of school. <laughs> no problem. I'll just serve him up a slice of this. <laughs> and he'll go running home to mama. No, no ghost stuff. Everything in this house has to be mega normal. Mega normal? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Mega normal. Huh? Hey, hey! Principal Ponzi! Please come in! We were so excited when Spencer told us he won an evening with the principal at the school charity auction. Charity auction? There was no... I mean, of course! Yes, the charity auction! I'm certainly not here to spy on your son! Just behave as you always do, and I'm sure I'll get what I want. Uh, that is, I'm sure I'll get to know you better. Watch with a suitcase! You're not gonna try and sell us a vacuum cleaner, are you? Did you forget to tell your parents that the prize was actually a sleepover? Sleepover? And for breakfast tomorrow, it would be so nice if you wouldn't mind making that delicious coffee cake you donated to the last bank sale. Um, sure. If you'll do the honor to follow us, please. Your parents seem quite nice. Yep, uh, nothing rude about them. Let's hope not, because if they're weird, I'm gonna have to conclude that you're weird. And you know what that means. <laughs> We'll set you up in the Freaky Tiki Room. Huh? The house used to belong to our distant cousin, Billy Joe Cobra, the famous musician. Yes, I've heard of him, though I'd hardly call him a musician. Say what? Unless, of course, you call that off-key screeching music. <laughs> 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 Okay, me 
mega normal. <laughs> Jessica, meet Principal Ponzi. <laughs> I don't think he looks like a monkey's butt. Hmm. <laughs> okay, next time, you're allowed to intervene. Yes! <sighs> Lasagna Al Forno! <laughs> Spencer said it was your favorite. Huh? <laughs> you know toys at the dinner table. It's not a toy, it's a replica of an Apache A-87 attack helicopter. Dad's an aircraft engineer, so th this is part of his work. <laughs> Some imagination on this kid. I'm actually a oh. chief engineer, uh, to be precise. So why are you here? Is it because my brother's a weirdo who talks to himself? <laughs> Oh, she got a real sense of humor, this one. Um, of course none of us talk to ourselves because we're just a regular family. <gasps> Would you like to see some of my customized topiaries? I call this one Mohawk Myrtle. Oh! Very interesting. I guess you could say living in Billy Joe Cooper's house inspires a lot of creativity in this family. Really? No offense, but I don't see what's inspiring about an overhyped pretty boy. What a loser! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling me pretty. That's it, Billy. Go to your room. Glenn, what happened? That's what I'd like to know. Oh. A face plant in the lasagna? Really? Oh. Hey, is that asphalt, baby? Dude, we were supposed to watch that together. How is it? Brodacious. You want in? Okay, just for a few minutes. Ponzi's busy washing the lasagna out of his wig, so we should be safe for a little bit. Ah! Cool! cool. A purity was made of asphalt. He was still my son, and I loved him. Now they're gonna use him to pave a driveway. Or build a parking lot. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> it's awesome, all right. <laughs> Principal Ponzi! <laughs> Surprise! Whoa! Ah! Oh, I was just talking to yourself. Yeah, I know. And I've got it all right here in Weirdo Vision. I knew you'd flip up eventually. Mr. Ponzi, please don't bother. You're kicked out, Weirdo. Mr. Ponzi, <laughs> you're making a big mistake. Please, let me explain. <laughs> Not weirdo! We're mega normal! Hey, Prometheus, what is this thing? Oh, that's just the school rule book. Who cares? <laughs> rules? <laughs> what a concept. They sure got a lot of them, too. Dress code rules, attendance rules, parking rules. Ha! Huh, they even got a whole section of rules for teachers. Wait, what? <laughs> What a day! I get to expel right, and his mom gives me one of her scrumptious cakes! A cake, Glenn. Nice and moist. Glenn, that's Mr. Ponzi for you. And didn't I expel you? Have you ever read this book all the way through, Glenn? It's pretty interesting. 
Fascinating. Now please leave, unless you'd like me to call security. Section 9, paragraph 1. Any faculty member or school administrator who accepts gifts from students or their families will be terminated. Uh. Immediately. Care for another slice? But I, you, did this, I'm not, you! Fine, you can stay for now. But I'm warning you, if you think I'm through with you, right, you're wrong. Wrong, right, you're wrong. Oh, and by the way, Billy Joe Cobra has more talent in his left nostril than you've got in your whole family. Ha! Ah, Billy Joe Cobra is a hat! Wouldn't have said that if I were you. And why not? What are you gonna... Have a nice day, Glenn. <laughs> Just mega normal. Dude, that's my ghost!